Yet to commit to playing for the Packers this season, but appearing Monday at the Major League Baseball Home Run Derby, Peyton Manning had some thoughts on where Rodgers will be throwing fastballs this year. I personally hope it's in Green Bay. That's what, that's what I see him as. I hope they can kind of make amends. My gut is he's not coming to Denver. My gut is Denver's going to you know, have Drew Locke or Teddy Bridgewater be their quarterback. And at, at this point, you kind of kind of know mm -hmm. what your plan is. We can't be having a new quarterback three weeks before the season. Elsewhere, former Eagles receiver Jordan Matthews is working out for NFL scouts this week as a tight end. Matthews has bulked up by 20 pounds to take on the new role. And NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reports seven teams have at least 85% of their players vaccinated, which would lead to lesser COVID protocols in training camp. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Sometimes watching a flawless serve can make you realize, wait a minute, I think I might love tennis. So you get 2% cash back on rackets, 2% cash back on shoes, 2% cash back on gear, tennis balls, lessons. And before you know it, you've got a decent backhand. I do have a decent backhand. Get unlimited 2% cash back on purchases and be ready for your next passion with the new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa card. Terms apply. Wells Fargo Bank NA All Rights Reserved. How can I make sure my office never stops working? With Staples Connect, it's possible. I need to keep my back office stocked without messing up my bottom line. Also possible because Staples Connect has your small business covered with big savings on everything you need to get work done. This week, earn 30% back in a Staples store bonus when you buy any two ink cartridges, including HP. Explore what's new at your local Staples or staplesconnect.com. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Limit four, in-store only. Visit staplesconnect.com slash store bonus for details and 724. We are the Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO El Centro. Uh, good day, sunshine. Uh, just a heads up, traffic accident, uh, 800 uh, East Keystone Road, two vehicles involved. If you're uh, heading in that direction, you uh, may want to find an alternate route. Coming up, we will celebrate birthdays today. We have our big shot birthdays. We have our local birthdays. Yeah, we will celebrate. And have you, um, have you been paying attention? We are celebrating another Imperial Valley summer on AM 1230. And we're giving away, well, how about uh, a night out? Yeah, at some of your uh, favorite and the very best local restaurants and eateries yeah so uh, keep listening and uh, we'll tell you all about it yeah celebrate summer what happened on this date in history well on this date in 1865 newspaper editor horace greeley advised his readers to go west yeah yeah, this time of year in the Imperial Valley, that's always good advice. Yeah, go west, take a day and cool off. Yeah. <sighs> if you want to stop in uh, Julian, fine. You want to keep going further to the coast? That's okay with me. <sighs> anyway, let's see. What else happened on this date in history? Oh, on this date in 1977? New York City experienced a 25-hour blackout. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that'd be scary in New York City. Yeah, all sorts of scary and strange people hang out there. <sighs> anyway, and uh, California, well, yes, I, I just have to... I just have to shake my head and head and go what? Okay, um, you know, a uh, in the Imperial Valley, a, a, an energy alert, right? Yeah, uh, help cut back on power, save the energy grid. Flex alert throughout the state of California. Okay, first off, state of California has pushed gas prices up to basically five bucks a gallon, right? Okay, okay, trying to push us into alternative uh, vehicles like electric cars. Okay, yeah, okay. And one of the things in the flex alert uh, that they put out was don't charge your electric vehicle. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
that goes back to, uh, okay, we have a drought. Quit watering your lawn and let all the trees and the grass die. And then two years later, come back. We've got a gazillion dollars to plant trees. Yeah. How oh, well. That did just the way it works. Birthdays today. One of my idols. Seriously. I wanted his job. Game show announcer Johnny Gilbert is 93. Actor Patrick Stewart, 81. We mentioned Roger McGuinn of the Birds, 79. Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones is 79. Cheech Marin is 75, the other half of Cheech and Chong. Actor Daphne Maxwell Reed is 73. Dee Dee Khan, you probably remember her from uh, the Olivia Newton John and John Travolta movie. Yeah, she's 70. Uh, actor Gil Birmingham is 68. Actor director Cameron Crowe, 64. Actor Michael Jace, 59. Actor Tom Kenny, 59. Actor Ken Jong is 52. Drummer Will Champion of Coldplay, 43. Actor Stephen R. McQueen, 33. Actor Haley Aaron, 27. Actor Kyle Harrison Breitkopf, Kyle Harrison Breitkopf, 16. To celebrate summer, KXO, AM 1230, wants to give you a night out. We're giving away certificates to your favorite local restaurants. Burgers and Beer, Lutz Casino in Yuma, Sobeys Restaurant, and Menchie's Frozen Yogurt. Listen for... It's summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime, 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 And be caller number 13 at 760-352-1230 and win. Here's a chance for you to get out and enjoy great food at the best restaurant. Restaurants on us. Call 760-352-1230 when you hear it's our summertime, local business. Celebrate another Imperial Valley summer. Listen to AM 1230. We have our happy birthday wishes going out today to Mr. Mo, Abdul Muhammad, Adriana Soria, Wyatt Wiseman, Taylor Rosas, Nicholas Nice, Francis Kines. Kim Ward, Andrew Pacheco, Alex Flores, Dora Langsfeld, Anai Lau, Josie Rangel, Jesse Anaya, Mark Zambrano, Bethany Kennedy, Sarah Agustin, David Anderson, Karen Castillo, Leticia Sepulveda, Richie Urita, Sheila Muller, Ricardo Velasquez, Vera Silva, Veronica Valenzuela, Glory Plunkett, Victor Rodriguez, Joseph Gonzalez, and Meno Figueroa. Happy birthday from KXO. Well, it's always fun to celebrate a birthday. Yeah, birthdays are a good thing. Yeah, if you stop having a birthday, that's not good. Oh, well. Anyway, coming up, we've got a look at world in California news, local news, sports, financial news, weather. Yeah, we've got good stuff heading your way. We'll go in-depth with the weather forecast and give you an idea what to expect. I can tell you uh, right now, pretty much air quality throughout the Imperial Valley is good. Air quality in the Imperial Valley and Mexicali Valley, good right now. That's good. How about a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales for service. Call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Brief. Texas Democrats have ditched Austin for Washington just days before Republicans hope to approve new voting restrictions. Rafael Anchia spoke outside the Capitol building moments ago. We are happy to work on bipartisan proposals that expand the right to vote. That make it easier to vote and harder to cheat in the state of Texas. But that is not what we saw even at the outset of this process. Democrats say it's aimed at preventing minorities from casting ballots. Governor Abbott threatening to arrest those lawmakers when they return. Consumer prices shot up 5.4 percent over the past year. CBS's Sarah Ewell Weiss. The price of used cars and trucks helped drive that rise. Airline fares were also up 2.7 percent in June as more people are traveling this summer. In Iraq. <laughs> 
More than 60 patients were killed at a hospital COVID ward that caught fire. There are reports it was sparked by an exploding oxygen tank or an electrical short. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760 7609- L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News. The river fire burning along the Mariposa Madera County line is for 9,000 acres and containment is at 10%. There are many ranches and livestock in the area that are threatened by the fire. Like Cadigan is helping to relocate some of those animals. I think a lot of them are just kind of in shock that this is happening to them. They never thought, you know, I'd have to take my animals and move them somewhere else for a wildfire. El Toro, the Beckworth fire north of Lake Tahoe has burned 90,000 acres and destroyed at least 20 homes. At a community forum in South Los Angeles Monday night, residents demanded answers from the Los Angeles Police Department for the June 30th fireworks explosion that damaged several homes and injured 17 people. Well, what we're saying is that there has to be accountability. What y'all did was no accident. Residents want mental health assistance for the trauma the explosion caused and money for damages. And conservative radio talk show host Larry Elder is the latest candidate to announce he's running in the September 14th recall election to replace Governor Gavin Newsom. Steve Clawson, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For all your air conditioning needs, repair or replacement, you call your friend in the business at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. As life returns to normal, our worries have not disappeared, but evolved. CalHOPE offers free COVID-19 emotional support. Call 1-833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Your nose is the body's air filter, the first line of defense against airborne allergens, bacteria, and viruses. You wash your hands to protect your health. Now you can clean your nose with Navage. Online at Navage.com. Navage. Clean nose. Healthy life. I absolutely love my dog. But the constant shedding, not so much. But then I got a Swiffer Sweeper pet kit. And it is amazing. These super thick cloths pick up a crazy amount of hair. Just look at all that. And that was from just one swipe. And the best part? Sweepers so much easier to maneuver than a broom or a vacuum, easily getting around chairs and under the couch. You're right. Now I can focus on you, not your shedding. Swiffer Sweeper Pet Kit, because shed happens. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue, next to Food for Less, in El Centro, Quick Lane, the service all makes it all models and you never need an appointment. When well, the IID board meets today, George Gale has more. The meeting will be held in La Quinta this afternoon. Board of Directors uh, periodically meets in Coachella Valley. At the meeting uh, today, the board will discuss Coachella Valley Energy Commission bylaws. Commission is being formed to give Coachella Valley IID Energy customers a voice. It is in response to attempts to force uh, the appointment of uh, Riverside County residents to the IID board. District is against that effort, saying it would give Riverside Riverside County a say on issues that do not pertain to them, specifically water issues. The IID only provides electrical energy to the Coachella Valley. The uh, district has said if the uh, new commission does not uh, step or stop legislative efforts to increase the IID board to include Riverside County residents, IID would strongly consider pulling all presents out of the uh, Coachella Valley. Meeting can be viewed via live stream available on the IID website. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Well, U.S. Border Patrol agents arrested a U.S. citizen attempting to smuggle methamphetamine. The incident about 10 p.m. Saturday night. Agents uh, stopped the vehicle uh, in the area of Interstate 10 and Highway 86. A Border Patrol canine detection team alerted to the vehicle for 
duffel bags were found in the back seat. The bags contained methamphetamine, a total of uh, over 164 pounds worth of meth, valued at over $444,000. The man was arrested and uh, turned over to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. KXO News Time is 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers ready to take care of your automotive service needs. Tires, brakes, batteries, AC service, alignments, lube oil and filter change, and more. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. And in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Well, emergency crews are still on the scene, 800 uh, block of A. East Keystone Road, two vehicles involved in an accident a little bit earlier. Still no word on injuries in that accident. Well, the charges have been dismissed. An El Centro police officer is free. George Gale has more. Alejandra Hurtado was at a recent court hearing. The hearing was to uh, set a preliminary hearing a conference on two charges left over from a previous trial. She had been uh, found not guilty of a couple of charges from an incident that occurred in January 2020. Jury had said that they could not agree on two other charges. The uh, process uh, for the uh, process for a new trial uh, was set uh, when the uh, district attorney uh, office announced. Uh, recently that they were dropping all charges in uh, the interest of justice. Hurtado was released immediately. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Well, the Imperial Valley Desert Museum is uh, reopening. Uh, and uh, they will reopen with uh, a lot of events. The uh, reopening getting underway now at the uh, Imperial Valley Desert Museum in Ocotillo. That's it for page one of the local news, page one of service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. It's time to go play golf at Del Rio Country Club. The weather's great. The course is in super shape. And listen to this. Del Rio Country Club is now offering their summer special. Five rounds of golf for $150. Golf special can be used anytime, including Saturday and Sunday. Have lunch at Del Rio Country Club with indoor and outdoor seating. Looking to be a member of Del Rio Country Club? They offer single or family memberships, too. To make a tea time, call Del Rio Country Club at 760-344-0085. That's 344-0085. It's page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, Medicare supplemental plans. It's all available at David H. West Insurance Services. Well, local residents continue to vaccinate, George Gill explains. It appears to be at a slower pace, however. Hospital officials say now may not be the time to slow down. The uh, state says the uh, total number of COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in Imperial County is now at over 203,000 El Centro Regional Medical Center officials updated the COVID situation on Facebook recently. They warned of the rise of COVID-19 cases and cases of the Delta variant due to uh, uh, less, uh, lessened uh, restrictions, uh, more community gatherings, and lack of mask wearing. Officials say most of the uh, new cases hospitalized as a result of COVID-19 and the Delta variant are people who have uh, not received any dose of vaccine. They say it is imperative that those who are not vaccinated do so if at all possible. They say the uh, current vaccines appear to be very effective against the virus and the Delta variant. Uh, Although uh, another treatment uh, showing a positive results is a Regeneron, a mixture of antibodies against the variants. It is being used to uh, treat those hospitalized as a result of the virus. They say Regeneron can keep people out of intensive care, especially those 64 and older. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. A house fire in Yuma claimed the life of a child. 
According to the City of Yuma Fire Department, the fire reported shortly before 10 a.m. yesterday. When Yuma Fire arrived at the house in the 100 block of West 21st Place, they found smoke and flames coming from the uh, dwelling. Shortly after arrival, firefighters were informed of a missing child. They entered the house immediately and conducted a search and rescue attempt. They were able to locate the victim, but the child did not survive. According to Yuma Fire, it's believed that two adults and nine children occupied the house at the time of the fire. One adult and a juvenile are, were transported to Yuma Regional Medical Center for evaluation and treatment. The fire was contained to the house where it originated. That house sustained serious damage and was uh, unable to be occupied. The American Red Cross is assisting the family. Cause of the fire remains under investigation. Well, there's a new Brawley Chamber Chief Executive Officer, George Gale, has more. He fills the vacancy left by Katie Luna, a board of directors of, of, for the uh, Chamber of Commerce for Greater Brawley, selected Ramiro Urias as the new chief executive officer. He has served as the interim CEO since March 21 when Luna left the position. Urias has been with the Chamber since 2019, working as a, a membership coordinator, then as marketing and communications director, the appointment uh, to uh, a permanent CEO became effective July 1st. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time is 749. Nice to explore your options when it comes to buying insurance, no matter what you're looking for. David H. West Insurance Services offers it all. And being an independent broker, we have many companies to choose from. We continue providing Medicare, life, and health plans, and now offer auto, home, and commercial insurance. David H. West Insurance Services can find the right insurance to fit your needs and budget. And best of all, a staff who cares about you. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call David H. West Insurance Services at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411 for a free insurance review. That's 352-3411. According to the National Weather Service, will remain hot. The Imperial and Yuma Valleys will continue to see temperatures in the 110 degree range today through the week. There is little chance for rain. 107 are high yesterday, 81 the low. Sunny and hot today with a high near 110. Heat index values as high as 114. South, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 85. East, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Wednesday will be sunny with a high near 109. Heat index values as high as 113. East, southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, then turning out of the west. We have 86 degrees downtown, 66% of relative humidity. Wind out of the north at 5 to 7 miles an hour. Air quality throughout the Imperial and Mexicali Valleys right now is good. That's it for page two of the local news, page two and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, auto and home insurance as well. One to get ready. We're ready. Two to get set. Tables are set. And three to go. Let's go. Burgers and beer is ready for you. We are open awesome. and our meals are fresh and made to your order. We are set. Our tables are set. Our condiment trays are fresh, stocked, and chilled. Our doors are open and it's go time. Come in and enjoy all your favorites at Burgers and Beer. The bacon is sizzling. The fries are frying. The burgers are cooking. And all of the beverages are ice cold. It's a good day. It's sports time, sports time brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. <sighs> home run derby. Whoopee! Yeah, Pete Alonso was 10 home runs down with a little more than half a minute remaining in the final round of Monday night's home run derby. But, yeah, the New York Mets slugger called a timeout. Then... Uh, Went back into the uh, batter's box, and in the next 36 seconds, um, he punched out five more home runs. Yeah, 
Then in bonus time, he cranked out six more. He beat uh, Baltimore Orioles first baseman Trey Mancini to become the back-to-back -back home run hitter. Uh, the um, All-Star game is tonight. Shohei Otani will be the starting pitcher for the American League. Max Scherzer for the National League. Otani will hit leadoff. Yeah, and he'll start on the mound, but then uh, he'll stay in the game for a while. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. Uh, a, a big problem in the NBA. Yeah, Team USA lost again. Uh, they lost to Australia. Yeah, and, and that might be a problem coming up in the Olympics. Uh, problem with the NBA, even down to college now, basketball is a team sport. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody in the NBA that knows how to be a team player. And the Olympics, yeah, they're going to happen. First Lady Jill Biden will attend the opening ceremony of the Olympic Summer Games in Tokyo. Biden will attend the opening ceremony July 23rd without President Joe Biden. It will be her first solo trip abroad as First Lady. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Sports Time brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Health Care District. Log on to PMHD.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Waves of winning are here with a hurricane of prizes from Cocopa Casino in July. 100 winners will take home up to $200 per person. The tide is high every Friday and Saturday in July from 5 to 9 p.m. 10 winners each drawing day will receive a minimum of $100 in rewards play with bonus rewards based on card level. Earn entries daily by playing your favorite slots and table games with your rewards card. For complete rules, see the Cocopa Casino Rewards Club. Winning is just around the corner at Cocopa Casino and Resort, South Highway 95 in Somerton. And right now we're moving into financial news with a brief look at weather as well. So uh, what's going on in the world of high finance? Well, I can tell you inflation. Yeah. According to the uh, latest information, Inflation is, uh, well, it's basically up 5.4% in June, the biggest rise in 13 years. The uh, inflation, the jump in inflation, of course, uh, means you're going to be paying more pretty much across the board as prices keep rising putting a squeeze on American consumers' wallets. And, uh, well, like I said, the uh, trend got worse in June. Much of the rise in prices due to gasoline prices, which are far above last summer's levels. The pandemic caused a sharp drop in driving and the price of oil, but travel is back. And so is demand for gas and oil. Gas prices rose 45.1% compared to a year earlier. And uh, earnings reports are starting to uh, come in. J.P. Morgan's profit up 155% as the U.S. economy races back from the pandemic. Meanwhile, Goldman Sachs posted $5.5 billion in profit as the stock market booms. 
Southwest Security Company is a locally owned security company protecting your property or your business and now offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Plus, they added Southwest Postal with post office boxes you can access 24 hours a day, 365 days a year with shipping services too using DHL, UPS, and FedEx. They're conveniently located at the corner of Heil and 4th Street in El Centro. And if you need something notarized, they can do that too. You can count on Southwest Security and Southwest Postal for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It will be sunny and hot today with a high near 110. Heat index values as high as 114. South, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 85. East southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 109. Heat index values as high as 113. East southeast wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming west later in the day. 87 degrees downtown, 63% relative humidity. Wind out of the east northeast at uh, 7 to 10 miles per hour financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you this morning by southwest security services they offer 24 hour a day post office boxes at southwest postal fourth and heil in el centro Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 56 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. CBS News on the hour coming up. I'll be back with more of the best oldies on the radio after that. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro's local news source. This is CBS News on the hour. Your home for original reporting. I'm Steve Kathan. It's the summer of sticker shock. Just the sign of the times. Prices go up, gas goes up, groceries go up. Prices rising on a lot of things, and today the government said the June jump in consumer prices of nearly a full percentage point was the largest since 2008. CBS's Sarah Ewall Weiss. Consumer prices are up 5.4% from one year ago, their largest yearly increase since 2008. The price of used cars and trucks helped drive that rise up 10.5% in June and 45% over the past year. Airline fares were also up 2.7% in June as more people are traveling this summer. Well, Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott says when Democratic lawmakers return to the state, he'll call on them to be arrested. Retta Bowers and several dozen others went to Washington yesterday vowing to stay away during a special session to prevent Republicans from passing new election laws. Texas Democrats will use everything in our power to fight back. But we need Congress to act now. The FDA is warning about a possible rare side effect of the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. CBS's Dr. David Agus says around 100 people have suffered a nerve disorder. The risk of complications from the virus is dramatically high. The risk of complications from the vaccine is extremely rare. We have to be vaccinated and be aware of any complications we could treat early, but we have to be vaccinated. It is one in a million, these complications. The firefight is intense in seven western states with some 50 large fires burning. CBS's Lilia Luciano is covering one near Yosemite National Park. More than a thousand firefighters have been actively and aggressively fighting this blaze despite working in temperatures well above 100 degrees. And while they've made some progress, dozens of fires raging throughout the west is a sign that we are on for a dangerous and active fire season. Baltimore police say two city officers were shot and wounded this morning and a suspect killed. The confrontation happened in a mall parking lot as marshals served a warrant. U.S. News and World Report says the best place to live in the U.S. is Boulder, Colorado. Boulder's uh, job market is extremely strong. And on top of that, it's just one of those places people love the idea of being able to get outdoors and things like that. Devin Thorsby is the magazine's real estate editor. Second on the list, the Raleigh-Durham area of North Carolina. Checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 85 points. NASDAQ is up 41. 
This is CBS News. Daily reports and analysis from the world's most respected journalists on CBS Eye on the World with John Batchelor. Weeknights on the CBS Radio Network. Microband 24 protects against Staphylococcus aureus and Enterobacter aerogenes bacteria, but does not provide 24-hour protection against viruses. Every time you touch a surface, you leave behind bacteria. Use Microband 24 sanitizing spray to keep surfaces sanitized all day. Spray on hard surfaces to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses initially, including the virus that causes COVID-19. Microband 24 keeps killing bacteria for 24 hours, touch after touch. When used as directed, Microband 24, touch after touch, it doesn't give up. How can I make sure my office never stops working? With Staples Connect, it's possible. I need to keep my back office stocked without messing up my bottom line. Also possible because Staples Connect has your small business covered with big savings on everything you need to get work done. This week, earn 30% back in a Staples store bonus when you buy any two ink cartridges, including HP. Explore what's new at your local Staples or staplesconnect.com. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Limit four in-store only. Visit staplesconnect.com slash store bonus for details and 724. One of the most cherished trophies in pro sports needs some TLC. Tampa Bay fans cheered on this year's NHL champs at a boat parade on the Hillsborough River. There were cheers for the Stanley Cup, too, which took its own jet ski joy ride with some supervision from Alex Killorn and Nikita Kucherov. But the trophy came ashore dinged and dented. The keepers of the cup quickly covered it with a blanket and loaded it into the back of a car. It's headed back to Canada now for repairs. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. New York Mets slugger Pete Alonso thanked his parents for letting him stay up late when he was a kid to watch the MLB Home Run Derby. Well, Alonso rallied to take his second straight Home Run Derby crown last night, smacking six long balls in the final 30 seconds of his at-bat. To top Baltimore's cancer-surviving first baseman Trey Mancini in the final round by one home run. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. You've got Carol Buckley with the best oldies on the radio. 